Welcome back, Officers of the Republic. Is your chorus on Underworld Police Chief AP Gaines here for another episode of AP Gaines at Night. It's just AP Gaines, but we're in the dark, so it's a little harder to see me. We're live on stream. I can't tell on my end if chats are going to be popping up, but we are live. Um, and the topic arose, what is the best faction in all of the game, in the entirety of the game? What is the best faction? I know who I think, and some people are disagreeing with me within chat, so we're going to go through a couple... And eventually by the end, in a couple of minutes, we're going to come to a consensus. Really quickly, hop in the chat right now. Well, I guess it's not the chat if you're watching this later. It's going to be the comment section. And let me know what you think the best. I don't care if you like them the most, but what is the best faction in the entire game? So, I'm going to start off with what I think is the best faction in the game. Then I'm going to go to what some people said um, could potentially be a better faction. I am of the belief that the Galactic Republic faction is the best i guess i can't filter the, we're on the nikki biggs free to play account so obviously most of these characters are not unlocked and relic them like my main account but um i think it's pretty apparent that this has to be the best faction not only does it have currently the best galactic legend in in kenobi it also has the best non-galactic legend character and team in general skywalker plus his clones c-3po who is great you can use c-3po in a galactic republic padme team you can use him uh, with cls very versatile character. Doesn't get enough love, but a fantastic character. I think he bumps up the overall rating of this team. Katamudi, a character who is very good, underrepresented, because not a lot of people have him, including myself on any of either of my accounts. Um, but you cannot discount the fact that Katamudi is a fantastic character. Commander Ahsoka Tano, the one-hit wonder herself, annihilates people. She brings the, the Kenobi team up to another level. She brings the Padme team up to another level. She is... A fantastic character so you know right this these characters right here this is just like a randomly assorted row of just what she has the least amount of shards of um, this right here is better than most factions let's be completely honest so then we have the 501st clones the art trooper Cody echo Rex well not Co well, Cody technically is but I didn't mean to say him echo Rex fives art trooper um, they're great under where is she? Shock T. Shock T also a fantastic character. Good viability. You can use her in some nice JML lineups. You can use her with the clones. You can use her in a Padme team. You can use her wherever. I oftentimes find myself using her with like Cody and Sarge and like whoever. And um, they're fantastic. Of course, Cup, level 69. Nicole does not have him at 6969 JP. That is a travesty, but a fantastic character in his own right. The Padme squad. The Padme squad, especially now with Cat, is fantastic one of the best used to be the best but now probably second behind cls is the best early game team for all of you free to play players fantastic holds up great great in events great in raids great in gac great in tw fantastic character kenobi um now that the executor's in the game he's no longer the best capital ship but for you early game players still going to be your priority he's fantastic he's a great tank you can use him with um Galactic Legend Kenobi. I'll call him Glock. You call him whatever you want. Disagree with me in the comment section if that's your deal, but I'll call him Glock. Um, he's fantastic there. He's fantastic with Padme. His ship, the Negotiator, is still my favorite ship because I don't have the Executor. Anakin, top three ship in the game. Um, well, now that the Executor Ram Supreme, maybe you can claim some random bounty hunter ship is the best ship in the game. But, you know, for in, a week ago, for all intents and purposes, it'd be kind of hard to argue that, you know, ETA, MILF plus... Uh, uh, Hound's Tooth were not three of at least three of the top five ships in the game. You could argue semantics in other ways. Um, Tano, I mean, she's she's great for building up Cat's um, Cat's Nuki, her fat Dookie Dookie Nuki. She's a fantastic character. Can plug in any Galactic Republic leader. She'll assist. Great for the Padme team. Yoda, Yoda is a high damage dealer. You can use him in Jedi Knight Revens. You can use him in Padmes. You can use him wherever he does great stuff. Um, and then, like, the supporting Jedi are also not terrible. Um, I mean, Plo Koon's got a great ship. Um, I know we're, I'm going to come to the Bad Batch later. That's the thing. is like there's just endless amounts of awesomeness. Qui-Gon is not amazing, but, you know, you can throw something together since you have to have him relict. Ayla Secure, the most beautiful character in the game, but also fantastic. And the Bad Batch. The Bad Batch are unbelievable. Three stars, gear 10, gear 11 with a couple of Zetas. They are a fantastic team that can beat a lot. Once they're relic, they can beat pretty much anything. Um, this, so I don't see any conceivable way 
that anyone could ever argue, and I see a lot of people are spamming in the chat, so it might actually freeze up the chat on your guys' end. I can't tell. I can't see any conceivable way that there's any tag better than the Galactic Republic. Now, someone brought up Jedi, so we are going to at least hear him out that Jedi could be a better faction. Um, yes, there is a ton of overlap between Galactic Republic and Jedi, so... We'll take that into consideration. I mean, characters are also Jedis. So here's the best argument for the faction is the fact that they have two, um, two Galactic Legends. Kenobi is technically a Jedi, though you don't like use him with Jedi. But I will give you that. I mean, you don't use C-3PO with Galactic Republic all that often. So fantastic characters. Basically, all of the a lot of the good overlap from the Galactic Republic is there, except for you also have like characters like Jedi Revan, Jolie Bindo, a fantastic faction. I would actually argue that they're easily the second best faction in the game just because they overlap so much with how awesome the Galactic Republic faction is. So, similar things like General Anakin Skywalker being amazing, he's also a Jedi. Kenobi being amazing, he's also a Jedi. But they also have Commander um, Jedi Master Luke. Um, Hermit Yoda is not Galactic Republic, so let's just look at the characters who are Jedis and not Galactic Republic. Basically, it's Luke, Luke, Hoda, Jedi Knight Revan, Jolie Bindo, Vassal Shan's not all that amazing, but those are basically the characters that don't overlap. So, would you take, you know, your Padme squad, plus your Bad Batch, plus your C-3PO, plus your clones, would you take that over... Luke, JML, Hoda, Revan? I don't know. That's a decision you guys are going to have to make. I still think, since there's such a ridiculous amount of overlap, and I don't really consider Jedi Master Kenobi as a Jedi Galactic Legend, I think more so than anything, he's a Galactic Republic Galactic Legend. He just happens to also be a Jedi, and they didn't give um, like Rey Jedi because they thought it would be OP. But you don't like use him really with... like. Jedi Knight Revan the same way that you use JML. So I'm kind of like going to scratch him out here. So is it close? Absolutely. Do I think because there's so much overlap that like just because the synergies are better with Galactic Republic? Yeah. Um, but that's, you know, you guys, you guys can make that distinction. I won't hold it against you if you prefer Jedi since there is so much overlap. Are there any other tags that are even remotely close? Um... There's only one. I think there's only really one tag that can, can kind of compete with the Galactic Republic or Jedi, and it's obviously the Tuscan faction. Um, at Relic 8, you guys don't understand. Even at Relic 3, 5, 7, these guys are fantastic. Probably the most underrated 3v3 team in the entire game. I don't think I've ever seen... So they're kind of like Trey on defense in a way. It's like you don't see them very often, so they're very, very tricky to counter in 3v3. Because just like a Treya team, like, you know, you can beat Trey, but you're not going to get great banners. The problem with them is because Tuscan Shaman is, like, more sexy Jolie Bindo with unlimited revives. I don't remember which ability, so we're not going to click, and I won't prove it to you guys. But just take my word for it. He just revives them endlessly. They're basically an unlimited faction because Tuscan Shaman has permanent damage immunity the entire game. Um, they're unkillable, so for defensive viability... They are a guaranteed hold unless you bring in, you know, Treya with uh, Nihilist or, like, Mando with his Annihilate. And a lot of people just are not are not capable of dealing with that. That's how fantastic. Chat is reminding me that there is kind of like an A- minus tier that I can kind of accept, um, and that is the Ewok faction. Um, the thing that makes the Ewok faction so amazing is um, the fact that you know, they're all jacked and or stacked. Like, look at Chief Chirpa. Chief Chirpa is the thickest character in the game. And when we're talking about strict defensive viability, you want thick characters that cannot be destroyed. Um, so never underestimate um, a good level 2, 2-star two Ewok Scout on your team. Because although he's not the most scrumdily umptious of all of the characters, um, he's my favorite Ewok. And he does still got it going on just a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been AP Gains. If you guys want to subscribe for more amazing content like this, we're trying to get 10,000 subscribers by Halloween. We're going to do a Slave Leia cosplay Halloween stream. That should be fun. Uh, maybe also subscribe if you don't like me, because then you can get updates uh, when you can watch a video and complain about it online. Uh, the best way to support me is obviously to share this video with all of your guildmates and your guild discord. As always, I love you guys, and I will see you later.